Hi, this is a video on the Japa selfie stick tripod. Now this selfie stick is capable of holding your smartphone and can convert to a pole to hold your action camera. It also has a tripod legs on it. Now we'll go around the box. We have a picture of the pole and a picture of it holding a action camera. On that side we have nothing, just a bit of writing saying that it's made out of um, aluminium and plastic and it's suitable for Android 4.4 and iOS 5 onwards, so Android 4.4 and onwards and iOS 5 onwards. Um, an instruction guide how to set up the pairing for the Bluetooth shutter button. So this has a shutter button to it as well, which is removable. So we have steps for that and how to use it. Just a little bit of literature on the side here, which is basically the same at the front. Selfie stick tripod for a smartphone, 360 degrees, universal phone holder. And now we'll go into it and see what it's inside. Inside we have the selfie stick itself. We have a mount which has a quarter inch thread on and that is for your GoPro. So you can put your GoPro tripod mount on that or any action camera that has a quarter inch thread on the bottom or even a compact camera but not mirrorless compact cameras which have a quarter inch thread on the bottom so that fits on there. And we have a very short micro, micro USB B to USB cable in the box. Now to set up the shutter, to set up this shutter, it's quite simple. As you can see, this is the remote shutter. And this shutter uses the micro USB cable here. And what you do is you charge this shutter. Now it takes 30 minutes to charge this shutter um, button. Now the shutter button has a little 50 milliamp battery in there. So it only takes 30 minutes to charge this up fully. It does not give you the length of time how long this button, the sorry, the battery lasts in here. There's nothing written in the literature that I can see. Um, on the box to tell you how long this lasts, but all in all, it, it just tells you it's 30, 30 minutes to charge this up. Now, to connect it to your phone, is simply going to blue your settings, then Bluetooth. Keep your finger down on this button on the bottom here on the shutter button, and this light will flash blue. And then I'll bring it up, it will come up here as you can see, selfie stick tripod. Once you press that, that, it will then connect. If it acts for a number, it's simply four zeros. Now I'll go around the selfie stick here. Now the selfie stick is mainly made of plastic and it's a very durable plastic. I'll give it that, doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel cheap, doesn't feel quality. It's kind of in the middle. Um, we have a pocket here or a holder here for the shutter button. We have a silver and it feels like metal aluminium um, collar around, around the middle. The legs, the handle of the selfie stick opens out into three tripod legs, each having rubber ends on the bottom. And they close back in like that. There's a little bit of a grip on the handle here. And we'll go to, and now the phone holder mount, it's um, spring loaded like so. And it is capable of holding your phone in landscape. So I put my phone in there. 
So it's capable of holding your phone in a landscape mode and you can turn it. Absolutely difficult behind a camera to do this. And we can have it in portrait mode. So it can go into landscape and into portrait mode. And halfway down on the, core, on the top of the tripod here, sorry, top of the selfie stick, we have a, a wing nut here. Now that wing nut can be loosened. Let me take that off. So that can be loosened, taken right out. And now we can able to fit the tripod mount for your GoPro camera in there. So now you can fit your tripod, the tripod mount in there for your GoPro camera. So that can be fitted in there as well. The tripod selfie stick looks somewhere like that. And what we got here, the holder first, we have rubber grips here and here. So at the, at the bottom and at the top. It is spring loaded from down here, but obviously you can turn that around and it's spring loaded from up there. So it's 360 degrees that turns. So that's no problem on that. It turns 120 if you're going, sorry, 90 degrees or 120, 120, sorry, uh, like so. And also this turns round as well by simply slightly pulling up and it turns around. You can actually feel when it grow, hits into a groove. So you can turn, that can be able to turn around 360. Now, when we outstretch the selfie pole, or selfie stick, sorry, it comes out in black. As you can see, it's all black and it's one, two, three, four, five sections it comes out in. Now from this finger here to that finger, it measures 21.5 inches long. So this is a quite a long selfie stick, um, quite a long selfie stick. So it's 21.5 inches long. I have to admit that it gives, it feels quite sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap at all, the actual rod part feels very quite sturdy. I think mainly because it has to support a action camera on there uh, and bigger phones. So it does feel uh, well built. It's just a pity that the plastic um, on the handle needed to be a bit more some rubber on here. But otherwise, it's it's not too bad. Now I'll place my phone on there to show you the shutter button function for this selfie stick. Now I'm going to take a photograph and I'm going to press the shutter button. And you can hear it took a photograph. Now we're going to do a video. So we should start the video. Started the video and to stop the video. And that's it. So it starts and stops the video. For the phone mount, I would say it's quite a good phone mount. Um, a bit typical in what you get with some of these selfie sticks. It's a kind of C shape, but it does grip this small phone quite well. Unlike a, another product selfie stick that I tried that couldn't grip a small phone like the iPhone 5 or the SE. So, but this one grips it quite tight. And as I says, you don't have to turn the selfie stick at all. You can have in landscape, sorry, in, sorry, in landscape, no problem. And you can have it in portrait, no problem. And it will hold it there. There's no need for a tightening um, screw at the back to hold it into 
portrait mode, it simply holds itself. So that's quite good. I'm going to show you how it looks when you mount it with the legs out in the tripod configuration on the floor. Okay, now this is how it looks. And I have to say, I like this um, selfie stick tripod because the main stem is black. And obviously the, con the general color of this all in one is black. So it has a kind of stealth look. And even though the legs are made out of a, as a cheap feeling plastic, it doesn't give the appearance of being cheap um, in that kind of way. But um, in saying that, it's just the plastic of the legs. I just really don't like if they could change that. So oh, I'm gonna measure it to give you the actual length. Now from the ground, it is 31 inches tall. And I have to say, because probably because of the rubber feet on this wooden floor, it doesn't feel, I'm quite next to it and it, I don't see any wobble or shake in it at all. Um, there's, if you was to bring this outside, I would, personally, I would tether this um, to a chair leg or a table when I mean by tether, just bring a bit of string and just tie it to a chair leg here and tie it to here. If you're going to use it mainly on uh, shots outside so you can tether it so in case the wind blows it it doesn't blow over but I have to say um, it does feel a lick it feels a bit more sturdy than other ones that I've tried other than that um, it is not a bad um, tripod selfie stick so I'm going to show you the configuration of it when you put a action camera on there and to show you what it, that is like. Okay, and now I've got a GoPro on there and just to show you how you'd mount it on there, as you can see, that's the mount that you get with the tripod selfie stick. And here on top here is a typical GoPro tripod mount and you can pick those up for about 99 pence off eBay. And so you connect, obviously your camera, your action camera with its frame, if it's a, Go, with a GoPro, onto the tripod mount, and then onto the mount that you get supplied with the selfie stick um, tripod. And I'll extend it out to show you. And that's how it would look with your action camera on there. Now, you can just tell simply without no bend in this rod here, it's quite a decent rod, um, decent quality rod. So I give it that for JPAR. They do provide a decent um, extension rod for this selfie stick to hold your camera on, no problem. My thoughts of the JPAR selfie stick tripod. I give it good marks for the rod that is built into this tripod. It is one of the sturdiest um, rods um, considering its length. Um, it's a good quality rod, similar to what you'd get if you had a dedicated um, action camera pole um, so I give it I give it a point for that no problem um, where what I don't like is just the plastic that makes up the tripod legs I don't like the feel of the plastic because it does feel cheap but in saying that at least they provided nice rubber ends um, which are angled for the tripod legs and the tripod legs don't feel when they come out, don't feel flimsy, so I give it that. I like the shutter button, 
that you're able to recharge the shutter button and it doesn't have to rely on a coin cell battery because even though some of them have coin cell batteries that have the coin cell batteries they have a proprietary coin cell battery which is quite small not a standard size one so I like how you can just charge that and it's only 30 minutes to charge the shutter button also another thing I like is how the phone mount you can able to put it from landscape to portrait without no actual tightening of, or untightening of a, a screw thread or a knob. I like that as well. And also I like how they provide you with a nice GoPro or stroke action camera mount. So you can mount your action camera to this um, selfie tripod and just one thing I don't like is they could have extended this a bit longer and give it a bit more wider feet because obviously if you're going to bring an action camera the, the tendency is this is going to be standing outside so it just needed a wider base to it even if it obviously you have to extend the handle but I would rather prefer that but otherwise for £16.99, I would say, so for £16, I believe you're paying just a little bit too much for this um, selfie stick. If they would have put this selfie stick for around about £12, it would have been just right. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got this particular selfie tripod stick please leave a comment down in the comment section below what you thought of it how long it lasted you for thanks for watching